Another dating, data screening procedure that can be very important is to screen for outliers in the data. So let's do that real quick. We'll go through and go Analyze, Descriptives, Descriptives. At this point, let's grab some variables to see. Let's check all the subscales of the PTCI to see if any of these have um, outliers on them. In order to find an outlier, what we're looking for is a z-score on that variable that is greater than 3.29. Basically, that means that score is more than 3.29 standard deviations away from the mean, which is a highly unlikely value to have. In order to do that, notice this z is underlined in save standardized values as variables. That's a little indicator to let you know it's going to get a z-score for you. At that point, we'll go ahead and click on OK. It's gone through. If we go back to our data set now, we'll notice that at the end, it has created a set of z-score variables for us. So now we have z-scores on SB, NCS, and NCW. Let's go back and run descriptives on those new z-score variables. Go ahead and hit reset, kick everything out of there, and just grab our three new z-score variables. And go ahead and pop those over. And all I really need right now is just a minimum and a maximum value on those. I just want to see if any of them are greater than 3.29 as an absolute value. And that'll let me know if we have any outliers. So our first variable, PTCISB, has a minimum score of negative 0.61 if we round, and a maximum of 4.13. Clearly we have an outlier on that variable on the high end. Um, the next one, the NCS scale, is a negative 0.78, which is not greater than negative 3.29 as an absolute value, so no problems on the low end. And the upper end is close, but it's less than 3.29, so we won't worry about that. And the NCW, neither end is out of range. So let's go see if we can find that outlier on the SB scale. We're going to click back to our data set, and we're going to click on it and sort descending. That puts the highest z-score at the top. Now we can actually see, we actually have quite a few um, items on this subscale that would count as outliers. So all of these have z-scores that are greater than 3.29. Now, what we actually need to find out is what value does that relate to on the SB scale? So let's scroll over to where we actually have the SB scale. There it is. So we are starting with a value of 4.6 or above. All of those, any value that's 4.6 or above, for this data set is a univariate outlier. So we'd have various ways to attend to that data, but that's how you identify any univariate outliers in your data set.